I'm Teresa the Traveler and today I'm with Derek at All Aboard Games and I'm learning about a game called Magic. It's really popular and apparently it's been around for 20 years now. All right, so Derek's having a game of Magic. Tell me a bit about this game. Well, this game in particular, we're playing two decks that are called dual decks. They're actually built to play against each other. So the one I'm playing is based on a special Planeswalker, which is what we are. Um, the flavor of the game is we're very powerful wizards called Planeswalkers, and we're doing a duel to try and show who's the best. Right now, it's not me. Kenny is doing a very good job of making my life miserable. Yes, I am. So you have some um, tournaments or something here you put on? Tell this guy. We have tournaments all the time. We have three or four tournaments every week. And what it allows everybody to do is it creates a community. People that would normally be staying at home, playing with their one or two friends, it gives them a reason to be out, meet new people, have more friends, and be social at the same time. It gives us a big growth, and it's way more fun when we have more people. And what nights do you have these tournaments? Monday nights we have a draft, and then Friday nights we always have a standard and a draft. And so, so you're telling me that this is uh, better than video games in that you get away from the TV, you meet friends, but you can actually make money on these cards? You can. If you're smart about the way you play or the way you collect, every card in here, in this glass, is worth at least $5. Now that doesn't sound like much in the big collector scheme, but Given that it's only been around for 20 years, that's significant. Especially when you look at things like the Mox Ruby, which is over $500 in bad shape. So what card are you most passionate about? Well, it has to be based on art and something that's old because I've been playing a long time, and it's the Icy Manipulator. And this is from the beginning of Magic. Look at that art. It's beautiful. And what does the card do? It helps you control the board state. It allows you to stop something from working for a turn, and then your opponent gets to do it all over again. Now, it's a complex game to play. How do people learn how? There's a lot of online ways to learn, as well as there's actually video games that teach you how to play before you ever come down. Or, right down here, we can teach you how to play ourselves. In an hour of an exciting, interactive day, we'll actually show you how to play a game and have a game with you right on the spot, and you'll know how to play for the rest of your life. So how much does it cost to get into the game, to buy your first set? Well, if you've never played before, we have free decks for you. If you have played and you just want to get something of your own, for $15 after tax, you can get set up with a deck. So if people want to find out more about this, do you have a website? We do. Allaboardgames.ca or .com, whichever is easiest for you to type in. And you can also come down and we can teach you and show you the ropes on anything you want to know about Magic. And where are you located? 334 Seymour Street right here in Camelops. So come on down to All Aboard Games and learn a little magic. That's where we'll be.